Hey folks, this is Lionel Greykeeper's fan. Hey, what's up, y'all? I know I've been gone for a while. I had to handle some business, you know. A lot of things going on. I had to handle that, you know. I try to keep that out of the way. Anyways, I'm going to go over a couple of things. So, a couple of things first. Start with Tour Guide. So, I heard that bitch again reprinted. <clears throat> well. There's gonna be a lot of rich people gonna be hella salty. A lot of rich people gonna be hella salty. But then again, I knew this shit was happening. But I guess Konami loves to troll like a motherfucking boss, but that's okay though. This it, no power, no powerful current should be only to the rich elite. That's really stupid. People, what people don't fail to understand is they seem to have this um, absolute mindset that they must control the powerful cards and nobody else can, and that's ignorant. So, uh, let's get some drinks, some tea right here. Sorry, my hair don't look right, but I kind of woke up, so I don't give a fuck right now. Also, so I've heard that a recent YCS, I haven't looked it up yet, but I will in a minute. So I heard a, um, at a recent YCS that apparently Six Samurai won. So apparently, so apparently niggas out there, they talk, niggas and wanksters talk shit about the deck. Saying it's bad, they keep saying it's bad. But what in YCS? Why? Y'all salty? Y'all mad? Because quite frankly, quite frankly, if I was the if I was the um, player of that deck, I'd have basically had an interview and say, "You mad? I'd have trolled the fuck out of you." That's how I am. I'd have pretty much said, "You mad? You, you kept talking shit about my kept talking shit about my six hammer deck." This isn't mine, but you know what I'm talking about. I'd have been like, "Why you mad?" You mad, bro? You, you mad that you got got beat the fuck up by a deck you thought was dead? You mad? You salty? Eat a dick. That's <laughs> what y'all people get for underestimating and dying. Just this. This is what y'all fail to realize. Some of y'all do. A lot of y'all do. Not all y'all, but some. Just because a deck that has previously topped a YCS and has actually made it or has top it a lot does not mean it's dead it will never die same thing with glads glads ain't going nowhere people wish for them to die people really hate them because they constantly recycle themselves to where you can't get that single target to get rid of it Glads, um, glads in the hands of a right player, you will top, guaranteed. If you are a really, really great player, you think your moves out, you'll win. Same thing with Six Samurai. Just because they took two shins away does not mean the deck sucks. It just means that they have more options to whoop your ass with. But then again, haters, salty people will talk shit. So y'all kept running your mouth. Now you got your ass beat. By a deck you thought was dead. It ain't six Emery ain't going nowhere. They ain't ever going nowhere. I mean why is it what is it with people thinking that because a deck that previously taught for a year thinking the deck is bad because one or two things get restricted but when they get the ass beat by it and they hella salty and it wins a white sis. Now, now y'all jumping on the bandwagon. You people suck. Personally. You suck major ass. Okay. Because y'all 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 sleeping on decks, okay? Y'all slept on six summer and y'all got your ass beat. Okay, just because they don't have two extra shins to lock you the fuck out anymore does not mean does not mean that you will not get fucked up. Now they have. Did you, you? You people seem to have forgotten. Gotten that we have something called an extra deck. And within your own extra deck, depending upon what you play, some people don't have one because it's not really necessary. Lightsworn doesn't need one at all. 
pretty much. Lightscorn doesn't use it, and I know Burn doesn't. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, hiccups. I was trying to have them. But, but yeah, it, it, it's, I find that shit real funny, that y'all sleeping on it, y'all laughing at it, oh, it's dead, it's dead, the deck's dead, we hope she's dead, and then you got your fucking ass whooped by it, finals. So I get props to the person who, who did this, I give the major props for telling these haters to shut the fuck up. And thousand dollar decks don't win, make you a, make you a, a pro in this game, y'all need to quit that mentality now. Because it, it means shit. Here's the problem that I foresee with your nutdock. You're thinking you're hot shit. It's a thousand dollar deck, and you get your ass whooped. The problem is, is that y'all fail to realize that people know your shit. People know your weakness, and they will exploit it. They're prepared to kick your ass here. Because when you go to a YCS, YCS, with the intent to win, you've got to be hungry. Okay, you gotta be hungry for that win. Otherwise, you just get. You, otherwise, you're just gonna get your ass whooped. I mean, yesterday. I mean, actually, last Saturday. You know, I was like this tournament, right? I tell you, it's an incident. I can tell you about an incident that happened recently to me. All Saturday. I have remember, you know, just sitting back, you know, talking, you know, to another player, you know, someone sends dad, you know, chilling, you know, help him fix his deck up, you know, that's what I do. And some dude that I already know from another store, somehow he got sacked, I was like, I heard it, I said, hey, stuff happens, man. Stuff happens, you know. It's people are prepared, you know, stuff happens. He got all hell, he got all butt hurt. Um... You got all butt hurt trying to throw in the punch me in the nose. Now, my response to this was I had my glasses on, so I took them off. I pretty much said, if you want a piece of me, go ahead. We can take this in the back. Cause, and he backed up quickly because I'm dead. So I don't play that shit. He ain't epic and I don't play his bullshit. Okay. These kind of people, and this is another thing I'm talking about. Um, swag busters, okay. Salty busters. You know, you know those people that you, you come in your tournaments all all trying to think they hot shit, and they get fucked up, and they blame the opponents because they sacked, and all that shit. I'm like, dude, your opponents are more than likely prepared for your shit. Like myself, I already, I already know what my opponent's gonna side against me. I already got a proper side against their ass. I'm not stupid. I use my head, man. Hell, it's salty. The salty player, players, man. I don't need that shit in my life. They, they're not worth my fucking time. Cause they, they, they're garbage to me. To me, they can have this thousand dollar deck. They can have all this shit in the world. They have the rarest cards, cards in the game. They, they still garbage to me. They're still noobs. They, they're noobs. They're not newbies. Newbies and noobs are a totally different thing. Newbies are new people to the game just to start and you know they trying to get in. They trying to do their own thing, trying to have fun with the shit. Noobs are people that know how to play but constantly misplay and fuck up constantly. But then blame other people for their own shit, for their own misplays. That's a noob. I encounter noobs and newbies online offline on DM for those who have for those who have seen me online on there I have but but yeah th th these kind of people salty people are unprofessional they don't get my respect and to be quite honest they suck to my eyes they suck they can been as long as in this game as long as I have for like 10 years you know I'm still playing Dark Synchro I've been playing it for the past four years it's still killing people but you know what though I'd rather play my own shit than play somebody else's and drop thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars or hundreds I don't have that kind of money anymore 
I gotta use it to build my life and that to me is more important so, I mean I encountered um, there was also like Sunday I don't know if it was Sunday I had some pizza I mean I encountered an opponent you know who I told him I said okay and this was a wreck match okay I knew I would win it but there but there was a smoke alarm kept going off I was cooking the pizza kept going on kept going off because it just wouldn't do it it just wouldn't stop kept going on and off I basically told him hold on I gotta go tap the other shit real quick this guy say, like, oh hurry up and calling an admin on me and all this you know and just downright disrespectful you know I'm like okay I'm like okay it's straight disrespectful you know and, and it's like okay to me to me not having my let's say I see it like this to me not having my house burned have, having the house burned down okay or my apartment excuse me or my crib burned down versus me having priorities I value my I put my life's priorities before this game all the time first that's my number one thing I know my life shit first then I go play that's how I roll but it the whole game ended up me pretty much saying I'm sorry but I've got priorities in my life and I don't have time for you and I pretty much stepped out. He's like, he's like, come on, I want to win this. I'm like, no. I, I basically offered to draw because there was too much shit going on. I had to tend to a smoke detector. kept going off and all this. I was like, oh, God. He kept calling. He had me on me. I was like, you know what? Get the fuck out of here, dude. You are so disrespectful. I, I left. I, he was disrespectful. This, this is the kind of people I really fucking despise. They don't care about your life so bad that that it, I mean I'd rather would you I'll, I'll ask y'all this would you rather tend to a fire okay or tend to some smoke or something smoking in your house or would you rather play DM DM keep going if you answer number one then you have then you're a real person and you have some sanity in you if you answer number two Please seek the nearest mental hospital and get yourself checked out. Because I don't care what it is, you should always handle your life's priorities first and your gaming second. Period, bar none. That goes with both your living space and it goes with your hygiene too. And for those who know who are on my channel, who know about the epic hygiene video I made a long time ago, know what the hell I'm talking about. If you haven't, go check it out. It's within my uh, channel. And I talk about priorities like this because it's like, okay, I'd rather have, it's like this. I'd rather have a place to live and handle my business and not do it for a month or two than have my shit burn down and go homeless. That's how I roll. Um, also, so I heard that also on um, other news that I heard the premium tins, sorry, aka premium pack 14 is coming out in America, America pretty soon. These look to be some very, very, very good releases. I mean, Konami's and for for ten dollars, they're they're doing some good shit. Really releases of Elemental Hero The Shining, which a lot of people needed. A lot of people needed. A lot of people needed, you know. You know, it's getting reprints, so that's going to make people hella salty. Um, my One of my personal favorites, Void Ogre Dragoon. It's finally is getting printed in English. I can't wait for that thing to come out because it's 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 my baby. It it locks people down so much. It is ridiculous, you know. But so it, it, oh, sorry about this, people. I'm just this is just hell right now. But so many salty people 
are probably really, really angry, probably at the YCS sweater, because of the fact that they thought they were the shit. They thought they were the shit. They thought their dad was invincible. And that, they got motherfucking destroyed. And I'm just, I'm just laughing at it. I'll have to look it up, look it up sometime today or tomorrow or whenever I get to doing it. But I find this shit hilarious, personally. You mad? You salty? You go, go put that troll face with your ugly girlfriend at the regionals. You got the ugly troll face going on. What? You what? You thought you, no, you their swag was the hot shit and you got beat up? You mad? That's what I would say. That's what I would do. I'd be like, you. I would literally. It's like this. You mad? <laughs> um. Anyways, this is the legendary Gray Keeper Spin signing out. And remember, if an epic, I don't play that shit, sucker. <laughs> Oh boy. I have tea, now I need crumpets. And I'm going to. Mm. Cheers. And y'all have an awesome day.